Well, thanks. I've been waiting to get a 3D scanner on the show forever, and Creoform stepped up and really appreciate it. This is the uh, this is the GoScan 3D white light scanner from Creoform, our friends north of the border up there in the province of Quebec. Uh, bonjour, mes amis. Thanks for sending this to us. Um, this is an entry level product for Creoform, and by by entry level, what I mean is it is their lowest cost white light scanner. It has a little bit less accuracy, a little bit resolution, but that's okay because the market it's intended for doesn't really need high resolution, high accuracy. What they're looking for is the speed of use, speed of setup, and fast scanning, easy to use. So really we're talking, let's say, the pre-production folks, maybe a product development, product design, uh, packaging, prototyping, that sort of thing, where they really they, they, they need quick and easy scans in order to, to verify or, or to test some of their designs, right? So before we get into actually uh, how this works, I'm going to show you a couple things here. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how white light scanning works, just as kind of a primer. So if we can go to our gauge can here, and what you can see is basically this is your kind of what a typical white light scanner might have. Well, over here, we've got a projector. What this does is this projects a pattern onto the object to be scanned. Over here, we've got a camera and a camera. These two cameras triangulate on the dots being projected by the projector on the device. The combination of triangulation and looking at the deformation of those dots around the part give them enough information to reconstruct that part in 3D space. And that's basically how white light scanning works. Now, before we get into this, uh, Creaform is positioning this scanner as, a, as the fastest white light scanner on the market. And there's a couple reasons for this. Let me just show you what we're going to scan today in our demo. We're going to be scanning this. This is kind of a, a, a vacuum-formed vacuum -formed part. It's got a lot of, a, a lot of a, a, a geometry on it. Notice I'm going to scan this without fixturing it. I'm just going to hold this and scan it. No fixturing. That is one of the hallmarks of all the Creaform products, not just the GoScan, is uh, something called dynamic referencing, which means you don't have to fixture the part. So there's cost savings and time savings. Also with the GoScan, no post-processing. What you're going to see, I'm going to scan this part. I'm going to get a file that I can immediately export. No post-processing. Um, and actually, another little thing to point out, notice there's no targets on this, reflective targets. Some of you who've worked with photogrammetry or other types of white light scanning may have used reflective targets. In, depending on the part that you're scanning with the GoScan, if there's enough geometry, enough uniqueness about the part, the GoScan doesn't need any targets. You can just scan. It will stitch, stitch together the scans based on the uniqueness of the geometry. Now, if this was a flatter part, didn't have as much geometry, then we would use your standard reflective uh, uh, targets like you normally would. So let's go ahead and set up for a scan here and see what this looks like. So if we, if we go over to our software share here, just want to show you a couple things. I really only need to do two things. I need to uh, select what kind of surface I'm going to scan. I have my choice of a uniform surface or a textured surface. This happens to be uniform. And uh, I want to set up my surface detail resolution. This is set for two millimeters right now. I could go down to 500 microns or half a millimeter. Not really necessary for this part, so we'll leave it at two millimeters. I'm going to tell it scan, <clears throat> and we will get ready to scan this part. Just takes a second. And I'm going to show you what a scan looks like. And you're going to watch me just scan this very quickly. Here we go. And I am, let me get scan. I, oh, sorry, I have a loose, loose cable here. Let me get that black in. My bad. And we'll just start the scan again. There we go. And OK, scanner's recognized. And here we go. I'm scanning. And notice how just very quickly I'm moving both the part and the scanner just to get a look at everything I need. I'm going to switch hands here and we'll get the rest of this. And there we go. And we will scan the other part here. Get back in and we will scan this side over here. Make sure I caught everything. And oops, looks like I missed a section up in the corner. I'll just come around. Make sure I get all that. There we go. Some of the lights reflecting off these bright lights here, but that was it. The scan is done. That took me, what, maybe 45 seconds to scan that part. At this point, I'm actually done. I could say export this part. So in less than a minute, I've scanned this part. I can export it as an STL file right now, and I'd be done. But let's take a look at what we actually have here. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Let's, uh, let's rotate around. No holes. 
Oops, I'm sorry, there are holes. Okay, well actually that, that's good. That'll show me, let me show you something here. So suppose you're done scanning your part and you see you've missed an area. Obviously I missed the whole right side of this. I'm just going to go back into scan. And I'm going to pick up those areas that I missed. So here we go. We'll lock on and I'm going to come over on this side and I will just getting a lot of reflection off. Here we go. It's really bright here in the studio so that, there we go. And I have caught those areas that I missed, that I missed before. There we go. All right. So, something about this I want to point out. Very often in scanning or other types of 3D metrology, if you do multiple scans, what you end up doing is having multiple layers of scans, which you then have to align and then mesh together. Here I don't. What happens when I pick this camera up for another scan, it simply aligns the camera to the part and picks up where it left off and then I just go back in and fill in the holes and now we're good. All my holes are filled in. I can rotate around this part. Looks like I got everything. Looks like I didn't miss anything. There we go. And we're good to go. So now all I have to do is save it out. So I say save. By default it wants to save as an STL file. I have my choice of maybe 15, uh, 18 or other types of files that I could save as. In any case I save it and I save it out and then I just bring it into my um, to whatever my favorite uh, point analysis software is. Let's say bring it into GeoMagic. This software, VX Elements, really is data acquisition. It's really intended just to bring the points in and export them out. After that you're going to bring it into whatever software you normally would do your analysis with. Now I mentioned that this is an entry-level product. So the resolution, uh, I'm sorry, the accuracy on this is about 300 microns per meter and they uh, recommended a uh, recommended object size of let's say under three meters under 10 meters is that's kind of what this is designed for now obviously if you needed higher resolution higher accuracy you would go to a more expensive product you would go to creoforms that say handy scan or metriscan but this is priced much lower. Why pay for something if you're not going to need that accuracy? Uh, they don't want me to exactly mention the price. Let's just say it's the price of an inexpensive subcompact car. And that gives you about the price of what the, of what the, uh, the GoScan 3D is. So once again, very fast, very elegant little tool, well designed, uh, very ergonomic. Again, for our fr from our friends at Creaform, if you want more information on it, there's a link at the bottom. Uh, that'll take you out to the, the information page on the GoScan 3D. There's also a link if you're interested in how white light scanning uh, works and how the dynamic referencing, that I don't need to use a, a, a jig or a fixture, there's also a link to a really good technical article on that again. Uh, so again, thanks to Creaform for sending us the GoScan 3D.